Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh dear, Pakistan. Uganda, Kenya, Syria, India. Um, good morning to everybody. Hope you're all well, all doing well in Christ. Uplifting his name up. And letting your countenance shine. Because he loves us. He loves us truly. He loves us. Now I've got a parable. In Luke today. Luke 6. 39. And he spoke a parable to them. Can the blind lead the blind? Will they not, not both fall into the ditch? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone who is perfectly trained will be like his, his teacher. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the plank that is in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the speck that is in your eye, when yourself do not see the plank that is in your own eye. Hypocrite, first remove the plank from your eye, and then you can see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Let everybody have that relationship with our Lord and just do the best that you can with what you have, with what you know to do. Um... You know, we have all these rules and regulations. But really, there's only one, the law, L-O-R-E, of Christ. And if we heed to Christ, if we listen to Christ, all things will fall into place. So... You know, he says, don't look at, at what, because quite often what is shown to us that is not right in our brothers and sisters and mums and dads, it's actually a fault within our own lives. We need to first, firstly, first and foremost, um, learn to deal, learn to l walk correctly, following the guidance of Christ, ourselves, take it unto yourself, and walk perfectly, or as best you can, um, well, it is perfectly because when we put on Christ and His righteousness, that's all that our Lord, our Father sees is the perfection, the righteousness of Christ. You know, and underneath that, it, He is within our souls our emotions. He is renewing our mind, our, our bodies. He is correcting. He loves us so, so much that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will never perish but have eternal life. So bless you, my family. Love you. 
and be well in Christ. Bye.